Good girl, Charlie. Looking for company, Logan. Funny, you strike me as a loner. Who, me? I like people. Problem is, people usually don't like me back. Well, we need your skills, so consider yourself liked here. And my apologies about the circumstances. When you get to be my age, you end up carrying so much baggage people would rather leave you in the dust. So, uh, thanks for not leaving this old man behind. No need to thank me, Logan. With your expertise, I should be thanking you for helping us. You might want to save your thank yous until you work with me a bit more. There's a reason I've been freelance the last few years. Well, you are welcome to stay here as long as you want. I gotta admit, Sarah's got a pretty swanky setup. Puts Xavier's bad to shame. Some people think it is a little... spooky. A spooky place for spooky people. <laughs> Seems like home. when you are. Let's do this. Don't stress it too much. I must admit, I wasn't entirely confident that the bar guest would be taken alive, but if anyone could do it. And now you will do something terrible to the beast? Not necessarily. The barrier protecting Dr. Banner's facility functions on a simple premise. Only demons can pass through it, so all we need is a way to disguise the hunter as a demon. I told you before, I am not turning that dog into a cape. And I told you, it is not a dog. Besides, I don't think a cape will be enough. You wouldn't dare. My hope is that we can synthesize a facsimile of the bar guest's skin to fool the barrier without harvesting the creature itself. This really is a bizarre plan, even for you. If you want to reach the Gamma Accelerator, this is our best and only hope. More importantly, Doctor, is reaching Wanda. I don't like it, but if the creature must be sacrificed for her... Having this much demonic energy concentrated on you, Hunter, is not an insignificant risk. I just hope your collar can withstand... Let me worry about that, Doctor, after you have proven out your plan.
I want an elf. Excuse me? You get a demon dog, Hunter gets a demon dog. I want an alpaca. For the last time, Tony, the bar guest is not a pet. It's... They're friendly, have nice fur, and don't glow in the dark. I saw you petting it this morning. You are mistaken. I was taking a blood sample. Have you come to vent about Strange's plan? I did my best not to be rude. <laughs> to his face, at least. You do not believe it will work. No, I don't. But I do know that Wanda is on the other side of that barrier. And the Doctor may be our only hope of reaching her. He cares about Wanda too. Do not forget that. Stark may be after this Gamma Accelerator. But the Doctor is clearly focused on Wanda. That's why I did not rip apart his idea from the beginning. I know we both want the same thing. It could be worse. You could be the one who has to actually wear the dog armor. <laughs> True. You are the guinea pig once again. Thank you for the talk, Hunter. I feel slightly better about our chances. Can we please just get this research going now? Because that thing is looking at... How's it going, boss? Don't blame for the miss it. Ah, uh, uh, not bad, right? Stay, Hunter. I'm here if you need me. Hydra has been collecting field data of some sort on a remote server nearby, and we have a chance here to look for ourselves. Mother, protect us. That's what you want! I believe Stark and Carol have done most of the legwork. You still need to access those consoles to retrieve the data. Target confirmed. After that. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. Size. Restore our strength. 
must be tough losing all the time. For like... decades. Call a private who failed at a boot camp. A Hydra officer. Trying to play. Maybe it's time to rethink your life. Hostile 
reinforcements here. I stand with the mother. Midnight Suns. Assemble. The advantage is mine. Target confirmed. Let's set Nice armor. Pity if someone punched a hole in it. Cannot be broken. Sheer numbers will not save you now. You've recovered the data. Excellent work out there. Uh, we're supposed to have shop class tonight, but Robbie... Tony really got under his skin. I've never seen him this mad. Can you help me talk him down? Lead the way. Thanks, Hunter. You've gone too far, Tony! Explain how replacing outdated equipment is a problem. You moved my car. It was in the way, and I moved it back. Ah, uh, crap. All this flashy junk isn't why I'm here. Why any of the rest of us are here. Well, I'm here to make progress. If you aren't, then get out of the way. 
Never meet your heroes. I get it now. I don't know why I thought you could change. Hey boss, any clue why Robbie freaked out about the new gear? Does he hate efficiency? Come on, Tony. No need to be so harsh. Oh no, he's the one who started this. All I did was return what he lobbed at me. I'm gonna bring the rest of this gear online. Should help you streamline the process when you and Parker do your thing. Hunter, I need a few minutes to myself. Take your time. I am around if you want to talk. Thanks. Robbie just needs a little space. Let's get started. We don't have much on this saber-tooth guy, but we know he's incredibly dangerous. He's also somewhat predictable. In what way? When it comes to a fight, he's extremely aggressive. Our ideas take advantage of that. What have you cooked up? The initial prototype uses a tailored pheromone to keep him away. It provokes an intense revulsion we hope will blunt his attacks. Like a foul scent used to keep animals at bay? Well put. Our other prototype is... Well, we kept it simple. It's part sedative and part itching powder. To trip him up with a thorn in his paw. A very distracting thorn at that. Thanks for getting me those components. We're good to go. Time to... Uh, Tony. What's up? I think your gearhead pal is still wound up. Uh, okay. Hunter, give me a minute. I want to make sure Robbie's okay. Take your time. I'll assemble the prototype for the hunter. Oh, I'd prefer to hold off. There are some details I want to go over before we begin. Oh, come on. You've managed so far. How hard can it be for me? Ah, oh, sure. Fine. Before we get started, I've noticed Parker takes twice as long to finish these prototypes than he should. I have some ideas. We should get started. You know what? It's just easier if I show you. Okay. Sit back and watch the master at work. You looking for a round two? I don't want to butt heads, but to quote a frenemy, I can do this all day. Tony, I, I don't want to fight you. You were my hero growing up. Kids do love Iron Man. Not Iron Man. You, Tony. The man who could fix any problem with technology. What do you want, Robbie? Ten years ago, you bought the Salazar steel plant, then shut it down. Do you remember what you said at the press conference? when you announced the Stark Technology Center? Uh, something witty? You said, I'm here to make progress. If you aren't, you should get out of my way. Tony, you put half the families in my neighborhood out of work. And for what? You never even broke ground on that technology center. I don't even remember this. Three years later, most of the families who you put out of work had moved away. Follow the jobs, you know? The rest of us weren't so lucky. That's when things got real bad. But those families had it right. You need to know when it's time to move on. So good luck with shop class. I hope it's all the progress you want it to be. You too, Parker? Yeah, Tony. If I could manage it, how hard can it be for you? <sighs> Damn it. She... What just happened? Everyone was having a bad night. 
No. No, I pushed Robbie too hard. Damn it. I treated him like I used to treat Steve. I can fix this. Maybe, but not tonight. Not much to say, for once. It's good to punch Hydra in the face, but they feel like a red herring. Okay, a black and red herring, but still. Hello, fellow shopper. Make anything lately? Yes? During that last mission, was I the only one who thought, Yep, this is how I die? No? Just me? Cool. I ain't much of a conversationalist. More of a fighter. Hunter. Why, hello, Hunter. You kept civilians out of carnage. Nice work. Ready when you are. Practice makes perfect. Caretaker could have at least left me a chair. Thanks, Hunter. As I had hoped, the Bar Guest's dark energy is exactly what we needed to pierce the demonic barrier. What is our next move? I've created a suit of armor from it, tailored to fit you and only you. In theory, it will allow you to walk among the Lilin. I just hope it fits. It certainly looks impressive, doesn't it? I've decided to call it the Demon Child Suit. A very fitting name, Doctor. On many levels. <clears throat> I was hearing a lot of eyes in there, Doc. Thought this was a we scenario going on here. Yes, Tony provided some assistance, of course. Particularly with the name. Yeah, well, forgive me if I'm not used to having my combat suits try and take a bite out of me while I calibrate them. It is an impressive, if not pungent, creation. Speaking of, I suggest you make use of the suit while the components are still... fresh. That should maximize the protections against that infernal barrier. Understood, Doctor. A successful collaboration. Hunter, what is that hideous thing you're wearing? Hideous? That's harsh, even for you, Sarah. It, oh, smells. And what is that leathery material it's made of? It looks like it's made from the skin of- Rabid demon dog? Pretty much terrifies me just looking at it. 
But if it can get Hunter here through that demonic barrier keeping us out of Banner's lab, I can deal with my existential terror over Strange's creepy meat suit. Barrier? I thought we discussed this. Oh, we did, sir. We just decided to go another way. Hunter, we need to talk. And we need to talk now. So, I see you, Stark, Magic, and Nico are heading to Banner's lab, despite my objections. We are. But I said no, and I said it loud and clear. Well, this is what we have decided to do. Best accept it. It's not like any of you are giving me much of a choice. Sarah, I am sorry that this happened this way. You intentionally ignored my wishes. We meant you no disrespect, but we all believe this is the right course of action. I know you have heard this before, but you need to trust us. Ah, uh, I can't stop you, can I? No, you cannot. Fine. Go back to the lab and get Tony's toy. Thank you, Sarah. While you're there, if you happen to encounter Wanda, don't make the mistake of going easy on her. I assure you, she won't hold back on you. I appreciate the concern, but you do not need to worry about me. I am your aunt. I can't help it. Don't know what I would do if anything happened to you again. Kiddo. Well, at least that armor looks as sturdy as it is macabre. It should give you the protection you need. Good luck out there. I hope Tony's accelerator is worth it. Hey, Hunter. Sometimes, I even impress myself. I'm pretty sure Charlie left a steaming coil in the hallway. Hey, Hunter. Is that the doggy armor Strange tailored for you? How does it look? You have to ask. Oh, come on, Magic. You are making me feel self-conscious. You should feel that way. You look as ridiculous as Strange's plan. I thought you wanted us to find a way to break back into Banner's lab. I do. I just think wearing a hellhound skin to bypass a demonic barrier is something you'd only see in one of Nico's zombie movies. You do not like the idea because Strange came up with it. Forgive me if I'm a little skeptical when it comes to any solution he proposes. His track record for success so far has just been... Ugh, sad. But if on the off chance you happen to breach the barrier and make your way in, maybe I can find a way to help you out. What do you mean? I don't give a damn about the Accelerator, but I do give a damn about Wanda. So if wearing that monstrosity gets us closer to her, I will do everything in my power to help get her back. Promise me you will do the same. I swear. Good. Now get out of here. And don't come back until you bring back my friend. Be careful out there, Hunter. I want both you and Wanda back safe. Yo, Hunter! It's almost game time. Let's prep. Okay, we don't have much time, so I want to run down what you need to do to pull off this purification spell. First and foremost, you gotta say the words to the incantation freaking precisely. Like, every single syllable needs to be on point. What if I stumble over them? 
Uh, something bad might happen? Define bad. Oh, I don't know. Like accidentally summoning a huge horde of zombie penguins to descend on New York? But that's why you memorize the words to the incantation. You do remember them, right? A horde of zombie penguins? I thought the only peril this spell could cause was to me. No, like everyone in the tri-state area could be in trouble if you screw this up. So come on, let me hear you say them. Ego sum tenebris, et veniunt in domum suamu bet dominus. Uh, and the last line? Domun domin, principassa yo... <coughs> Ah, you totally messed it up. No, I did not. I said it perfectly. You mumbled the last part. Mumbling could get both you and Wanda killed. <sighs> it's Domun Domini Precepta Your. You need to remember that line and say it verbatim, because getting this wrong is not an option. I understand. <sighs> okay, there are a few more important details we need to go over. First off, don't say the incantation before you see Wanda. You have to wait until she's in sight for it to work, okay? Got it. When you do start to say it, she should start to become... disoriented. You're gonna have to repeat it three times before she's gonna be subdued enough for you to drain the corruption from her. Absorbing that much dark energy into your body is gonna be... Uh, intense. I just want to make sure you're up to it. My only concern is bringing back Wanda in one piece. Just don't forget to take care of yourself in the process. Remember, the only person in recorded history who managed to remove corruption died doing it. I do not need reminding of that. Right, sorry. I want Wanda back more than anything. I just don't want you to fall trying to get her back. I've already lost enough people I care about. I care about you too, Nico. Guess we've both been growing on each other. So... This is it, huh? Just wanted to say... I believe in you, Hunter. You got this. Thanks, Nico. Now... Bring our girl home. Oh, and Hunter? If for some reason the spell doesn't work, please don't hurt her. No matter what happens, remember, Wanda is still in there. Somewhere. I still cannot believe I am letting you go through with this. I cannot believe that smell. Oh, that. Genuine pine. Ran out of new car and vanilla Nella. You're welcome. Are you ready? As someone is. She has been all over me ever since I put this thing on. Yes, there may be some familiarity between your hound and several of the components we procured to create your suit. Right. Shutting up. Stay there, girl. I will be home soon. I will hold it open for as long as I can, but... You told me. One-way trip. Something must be generating that barrier. Take it out, and I swear we'll get you home. Any time now! Charlie, have you 
you lost your mind? You know better than to jump in a strange portal. How did you get past all that demonic energy? Right. Of course. Demon dog, demon energy. Well, now that you're here, just lead the way. Deactivate it, and you will be incredibly quiet. Agreed? Give me that look, Charlie. I have seen you run from your own tent. I was not expecting someone to be in the machine. You can all join Lilith together. Teach them to fear me. This shall be of great help.
angered them. Must destroy that machine before they send even more to defend it. You were too weak for this fight. coming back to me. Let us see if they have an answer for this. Survived worse situations than this. <laughs> Leave some for the rest of us. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. We are not out of the woods yet. The barrier is down. I think it worked. Maybe too well. Any ideas, girl? Banner's device. The key to so many doors. Such a brilliant mind, now so twisted. 
You have no idea. Hunter. The others abandoned you, didn't they? Sent you off on a fool's errand and left you to die. I know the feeling. You don't have to answer. I see it in your mind. We both know Mother will never leave you. You will never have to be alone again. Again. They are not alone, Wanda. Neither are you. I know. You had your chance to escape. Your loyalty to the mother of demons will be your undoing. the darkness from Wanda. I know you can do it, Hunter. She is stronger than any common Lilith, but I will try.
once again. How could you do that to a friend? How long have you been waiting to do that? Shall be of great help. Pointless. Mother will never let me fall. not you. Lilith is not your mother. Listen to your friend before it is too late. That must have taken practice. Lilith's control melts.
with something. Understand now why there is such fear surrounding Wanda's power. She is. We cannot give up on her. I know she is still in there. Leave! Reputation to protect. Oh, you'll suffer for that. Oh, but I thought we were friends. Not possibly match your strength. Don't hesitate, friends. I won't. They have brought more friends. Coming here was a mistake. They have not changed their plans. You must remember me, Wanda. Lilith is only using you.
Back into the fray. have an answer for this. You can't my wrath. Ugh, but I thought we were friends. This will help you. Mother is the only friend I need. will not save you. Gloves are off. Victory at best. Please, we don't want to hurt you. Hurt me? Hurt me? You will never hurt me again! Giving up again. <laughs> of course you are. It's what you're best at, Ileana. I am not giving up on you, Wanda. None of us have. None of us ever will. Save your lies for Agatha. Ego sum tenebris, et venient in domum suam juvent dominus. 
that passage. You can't save her. No one can. Ego sum tenebris. Domun domini presenta your. So sure anymore. Sons are on a roll. I have something for you. Tickets to the Avengers musical. Components for shop class. Be honest. Have I traveled back in time? No. You sent me a message. Right. I set those up before the last meeting. And you got one. So, what should I do with these components? Mm, I can take them. Are you sure? Yeah. If you hand them over, I can get Tony and Robbie talking again. And if not? I'll give them all back. Deal? Agreed. I hear everyone's favorite flaming doggo saved the day out there. You have not set anything on fire today, have you? <laughs> oh, I wish I could see Banner's face when he realizes we swiped this thing back from him. Do you think I'll get a curse you, Stark? Fist shaking in the air. It's kind of cliche, I know, but I'd still love it. I do not care for theatrics, but I do hope you get your wish. Oh, yeah, could you picture it? Banner, standing there in the empty spot where this accelerator used to be, realizing Tony Stark got him good. I will leave you to enjoy your prize, Tony. Thanks. I just gotta figure out the best way to get this thing into the forge. Gonna be up all night with this baby. We got our number one. <laughs> Easy there. You are safe now. I'm not going to hurt you. But what if I hurt you? You do not want to hurt anyone. I don't, but I did. I, I... I wanted to. Wanda, you are back at the Abbey. With your friends. <sighs> Wanda. I know we have met before, but they call me the Hunter. Sorry, I... I don't feel like myself. I cannot imagine what you have been through. You will probably feel like yourself again after a good night's sleep. How can I sleep? The things I did. Lilith made you do those things. They were not your will. But it felt like my will. Until you. You were the one who absorbed the darkness from me, weren't you? You brought me back. I did. How are you still standing? Okay, enough with the third degree. I know what we should do. Celebrate. Celebrate what? Your return, duh. I'm sorry, Nico, but I'm tired. I should probably get some sleep. 
<sighs> it's been a long time since I've slept. Yes, you should rest. We will talk in the morning. Love you, Wanda. Love you too. Hydra mystics can't stop a little limb. I can't believe it, Hunter. I think I'm in a bit of shock. Wanda? Well, yes, of course, Wanda. I can't believe she's standing here in the Abbey among us again. I wish I could have joined you at the lab to be part of the homecoming, rather than merely bystander. No matter who did the rescuing, the fact is that Wanda is back. And that is a good thing. Yes, yes, uh, you're right, of course, we should celebrate every victory. And thanks to you, my pity party was small, had just a single guest, me. I think the wisest thing would be for all of us to get some rest. We can assess the situation with clear eyes tomorrow. All right, then I guess I bid you good night. Good night to you. I am a complete and utter fool. How so? Before you left, I warned you not to show Wanda any mercy. And what did you do? You not only showed her mercy, you brought her back with you. I don't know what to say. You do not need to say anything. Wanda is back with us. The corruption has been removed. We should just move on from here. That's what I'm afraid of. What if I can't move on? I thought when Wanda fell to Lilith, that would be it. I'd never see her again. I thought her fall was inevitable. I just keep thinking about what might have happened if I hadn't pushed her away. You cannot spend your time dwelling on mistakes. What is past is past. Then I suppose I'll reserve all my worrying about the future. That should keep me quite occupied. Is there anything I can do for you? Yes. Give me time alone to think. That's probably the wisest move for all of us. Wanda's caused us lots of pain. But do you think it's gauche to make her a welcome basket? I just wanted to... thank you for what you did for Wanda tonight. Did you just say thank you, Ileana? You lifted the curse your mother shrouded her in. But now for the hard work. What do you mean? Scarred flesh heals more quickly than a scarred soul. It will take her a long time to recover from this. If she ever does. I don't know if I've recovered from my traumas. Not fully, at least. All Wanda needs is our love and patience. <laughs> love, patience. Sometimes love is not all you need. Sometimes it's revenge, redemption, victory. Sometimes it's crushing your enemy's skull beneath your boot and hearing the bones snap. What she must have gone through, we can only imagine in our worst nightmares. Not even the horrors of my childhood in limbo probably compare. And trust me, Hunter, no amount of love and patience helped me. <sighs> okay, I said my thank you. Good night, Hunter. Be well. Oh, you freaking did it, Hunt! You brought her back and you didn't totally screw it up. I hope you know, what you did tonight means a lot to me and the rest of the Midnight Suns. You, uh... Reunited our twisted little family of outcasts, and, um, we're never gonna forget it. Caretaker will not forget it either. You're not really worried about Fallout with her, are you? I am. Well, don't. Wanda's back. Everything is gonna be better around here now. Just wait and see. I don't know what state Wanda's in just yet, but...
but we need her head in the game on our side. We must treat the demon child armor with the utmost care. Hey, did I miss the meeting where it's okay to trust Wanda? I'd like to. Heck, I've been bad a few times myself. I hope Wanda's return means we're going to start winning a few. Miracle worker arrives. I did not think you had it in you, child. Pulling your fallen comrade from the foul clutches of your twisted mother. You must be so proud. I know you are angry, mother. But if my spell could save Wanda, perhaps it could work on you as well. No spell can undo what was done to me, child. Besides, you did not save Wanda. You returned her to those who cast her away. Still, your actions were not without merit. I restored my friend. And yourself. We both know my energy cannot be purged. Bruce was right. There is only one possibility. You absorbed it, didn't you? There is no need to answer. I can feel it. As well as the new crack in your collar. How long do you think it will hold now? At last, the barriers between us are crumbling. Do not bet on it, mother. Good girl, Charlie. <laughs> 